But the deal is this, is that he, he, the woman didn't realize who was, who was uh, an associate. Her name was Jess or something, Jessica. <laughs> um, Jess or something. That when questioning me about Starbucks and his latte, is that it's a, really it's a concoction of milk. Uh, <laughs> the John Stewart woman uh, associate. I said, yes, it is a concoction of milk with some flavoring in it, yes. Um, and I said to her that milk is something that's produced by the mammary glands, and it is a body fluid, however, albeit produced by the mammary glands, and people tend to like its taste. It tends to nourish people. It tends to give life is probably... You know, it's, it's a strange thing that milk comes from the mammary glands and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I said that semen, because you know what, I had this thing going back a year ago with me talking about semen and, 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 and Starbucks lattes, and they do put it in there. And many people slammed me and said I should get off of it. One guy wrote me and told me he wasn't going to send me any more offerings until I stopped talking about seba, uh, semen uh, in Starbucks coffee. I told him to keep his offerings. Uh, but at any rate, the uh, semen is, is another kind of milk. Oh. It's something that's produced Look at your face. by the testicle glands of a man. People tend to like milk that's produced by the mammary glands of a woman. Starbucks has figured out that people tend to like semen that's produced by the testicle glands of a man. So what's I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It sounds too much. It sounds too much like the shit, I, like people I know. Like, it's like, like the level of insanity that yeah. would show up then every Sabbath with like different conspiracies on things and then have the conviction of like just absolute certainty. Yeah. That, yeah. and this is how it sounds. Okay. 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 But before I ask you why you're still eating meat, how about we finish what he has to say first? Okay. I'm going to finish what he has to say. I'm taking damage. Uh -huh. I just need everyone to know I'm yeah. taking real damage. Right. Because this is exactly okay. how it sounds. You meat eater. Yeah, you. What's the big deal? If they mix milk and semen together, it makes for well, some people a nice taste. Now, I don't go to Starbucks. I don't drink coffee, first of all. Oh, okay. But when I said that, I know they're not going to add that. I know they're not going to edit that. I know they're going to put that on the app. They're not going to do that. But don't argue with me. Athlab.org. Support the ministry. Give using Milk, PayPal. Mammary glands, semen. Gotta give your 10%. Testicle uh -huh. glands. Both are naturally produced by the body. That's worth $20. And a lot of worth tend knowledge, to right? Like them. So Starbucks has figured it out. <laughs> so they blend a little semen synthetic with their synthetic blends of milk. And people drink Starbucks coffee. I don't. Only for the semen pasta. And I will not. And I advise you, don't drink it either. Well, that's, but that's... Let your own drink some you synthetic see, scene. But that's the swerve, Reggie, is the delivery is to make it sound that way in order to set it up to be like, hey, this normal, everyday, uh, in uh, harmless thing mm -hmm. is actually, uh, did you know Satan? Did you know Satan was behind, insert harmless, random mm -hmm. thing? Actually, He's testing you. T that's the same conviction with which it was delivered to me that... Um, Every Halloween, the whole point of Halloween is to is that children are taken into the forest and sacrificed to Molech. You know? uh, yes. Um, and and uh, or the 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 cramp the story of Krampus and Old Nick and Saint Nick and that whole thing where it's like actually Christmas is uh, celebrating the devil. Actually, that's oh, what that was. Yeah, that's like, what he's The he same level of of conviction. The same level of conviction that. Uh, like, hey, I've like you haven't heard the news about the computer chip called the Beast in Switzerland. They have the Beast computer, and actually, it's a chip that's for the for the you put it in your forehead, and then there's another identifier that you put in your hand, and the two together allow you to do any kind of transactions. And this is way before Interact, with before the Beep chip system, mind you. And, and if we look right here in Revelation, it says that the mark of the beast will be in his hand and his forehead. So we, right here, is is prophecy fulfilled. Oh, my God. And and that's how you know. Excuse me. Hold on. And that's how you know that these are the end times. You see, we can't be fooling around anymore. We have to get serious. We have to be faithful. Because the end is right around the corner. We never know. But these are the signs of the times. And we've been told about them. And you don't want to be caught. 
saying, oh, I didn't know. I chose to not hear it when here it was right in front of us the whole time. And you're hearing about it now and you choose to do what you will with this information. But on that day, we know when the trumpet sounds what's going to happen and who will be caught lacking and who will be caught up to meet him in the air. Yeah. And Neural little Wooly this, this is Neural like, link is fine. got it. World is about to end any day now. Yep. Understood. Okay. Right. We've got seconds left. Mm -hmm. Are you praying? Oh, you uh, every day. You best be. We've got seconds left. You best be praying. Cool. And then next week, we're still here. Mm -hmm. What's going on next week? Where's that? Where's that chip? Where's the, the the Halloween? Nobody reported any murders. What? No. But but this week actually, there's uh, a new evil. Yo, evil you, changes. Have you yo, have you heard? You know, Microsoft. You know, because the biggest, the most, the most profitable company in the world, right? Microsoft, mm -hmm. that, of course. You know, when you turn the letters and you get sixty six. But if you think about how much money Bill Gates is worth at the time, and then you add that, then you get the extra six, and that is a sign of the beast and you know what that is and you know this that's another sign and these are the signs of the times and we're told that he's gonna come any day now and you gotta watch out and you gotta be looking out for these things and you have to be ready to flee from the cities you have to be ready to run to the countryside you have to be ready for sunday law when they force everyone to worship when church and state come together and you are gonna have to say goodbye to your friends you're gonna have to say goodbye to everyone you're going to have to leave it all behind. So you have to be ready and you have to be to continue to be faithful because you never know when it's going to happen. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. So not last week, but this week. Okay. Cool. See you next week.